You guys adopted Lisa? She's my ex-girlfriend. But darling, I don't see what the problem is. She's a nice girl. Lisa broke up with me. She broke my heart. Oh, son, I think you're just being overdramatic. Very overdramatic, Daniel. I don't want anything to do with her. And now she's going to be in my house living with me. I have to see her every day. Daniel, you are being extremely rude right now. Wow, Daniel, no need to overreact. You can, like, just learn to get along. I'm not going to get along with you. We broke up. Daniel, stop acting like this. Apologize to Lisa right now. No, I'm not apologizing. It's how I feel. Lisa, what are you doing in my room? Um, well, your parents decided to give me this room, so it's mine now. Where is all of my stuff? It's gone. Oh, <laughs> All those stupid things, I put them in the garage. This cannot be happening. You think you can just come in here and take over my room? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do you just enjoy seeing me miserable? Is that what this is? I can't take this. Look, Daniel, you don't really have a choice in this matter, so get used to it. No, I'm not gonna deal with it. I don't have to. Well, there's nothing you can really do about it, so... All my things are pretty much packed, so I'm moving out. Dear, have you heard from Daniel since he moved out? Not really. Last I heard, he was staying on his friend James's couch until he finds a new place. Oh, no. I am just so worried about that boy. I know. First time living on his own. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, that's for sure. <laughs> Lisa? What, what's wrong? I, I can leave if you guys want. This whole thing is just a, a big mistake. <laughs> Lisa, wait, get back here. Lisa. There, there, Lisa, don't be so upset. None of this is your fault. Yes, it is, it's all my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault at all. Daniel made his own choice to move out of the house, not you. It's true. And you know what? Maybe it was time for him to leave the nest and fly on his own. Do his own thing. Maybe, but I don't know. I just feel so bad. I I'm sorry. You have absolutely nothing to apologize for. You don't need to be sorry at all. Really? Yes, of course. We know you really need the help and we want to help you, Lisa. You're a good person. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are so kind. Yeah, man. Ex-girlfriend living at your house? That's gotta be awful. I mean, I loved Lisa so much, but now it just hurts to see her. And I had to see her every day? I, I just couldn't live there anymore. Yeah, dude, I like totally get it. I've been trying to find a place to live, but everything's just so expensive and I don't know if I can do this on my own. Well, man, there's nothing wrong with asking for a little help. Yeah, maybe I should ask my dad, see if he can help me out. I don't really think I've got a choice. I'm just gonna step outside and make a quick call. Dad, it's me. Daniel, what's going on? How are you doing, son? I'm not doing so good, Dad. I'm really struggling to find a place to live. Sleeping on my friend's couches isn't going to last me very long. No, it's not. That's for sure. I really need some help, Dad. Daniel, I hate to say it, but you're the one that decided to move out. Yeah, but I couldn't stay there now that you guys brought Lisa to live with us. Daniel, I really don't want to hear you talk about Lisa anymore. You just need to get over it. She's staying here. And that's why I can't live with you guys anymore. I just need some help. Sorry, son. Can't help you. You wanted to do this. You got to figure it out on your own. Dad, wait. Oh. So how'd it go, man? Well, I guess I'm on my own. My dad's not helping me. Well, I was just thinking, man, why don't you and I just like rent a house or something? I think I'm looking for a new roommate. Kyle leaves his cereal bowls all over the place. It's like kind of annoying. Yeah, I think that'd be awesome. Mom, it's so good to see you. Thanks for coming to visit. Of course, Daniel. I had to see where you're living. And look, this place is amazing. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. Of course. And please, let me help you decorate. Make this really feel like home. Yeah, sure thing. Daniel, it smells gross in here. It smells like mold. Maybe you should look into getting some candles. Really, Lisa? Well, if you don't like the way that my house smells, maybe you should just leave. What? Are you kicking me out? If you don't want to be here, you don't have to. I don't even really want you here. Daniel, that's no way to act. Mom, Lisa's not welcome in my house. And she can never come back here. And that is that. 
Do you know what? Fine. I don't want to be in this ugly dump anyway. See ya. Lisa, Lisa, wait. <sighs> Daniel, I'm disappointed in you. What do you mean, Mom? Can't you see how mean she is to me? Well, I mean, Lisa is right. No home is complete without a candle, so just be nice. Mom, why are you taking her side? I'm your son. Daniel, I am not taking sides. Now, how about you call me when you stop acting like a child and you start acting like an adult? Thanks for getting me out of the house, Tyler. Ciao, dude. I mean, you've obviously been having a hard time. You, like, barely even come out of your room. I just feel like Lisa's really ruining the relationship I have with my parents. I've never really fought with them before, and ever since she moved in, we do nothing but fight. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine. I'm so close with my mom and dad. They just stop talking to me, I'd probably go crazy. Yeah, and I don't know. I just feel like they're abandoning me, you know? Dude, family's like the most important thing. So if you're starting to feel like this, you need to do something to fix it. Yeah, you're right, but I don't even know where to start. I tried talking to my mom and dad, but we just end up fighting. Well, the main problem you have right now is Lisa, so you have to deal with that first. Yeah, I wonder if I can get her real family to take her back. Maybe if I get Lisa back with her parents, I can have my family back. Yeah, man, that's not really what I meant, but I think it's a good place to start. I'm gonna go talk to her parents. All right, this is Lisa's parents' house. Let's see if they're home. Hello, who is it? Hi, um, are you Sharon and Joe? Yeah, that's us. Who wants to know? I'm, I'm Daniel. Daniel, ha, I remember you. You dated Lisa. Do you know where Lisa is? Uh, actually, I do. She's living with my family right now. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad she's at least safe. Yeah, she ran away from home, left us high and dry. Do you understand as a mother how hard that is to see your kid just run away? I just, I, I can't even talk about it. Well, if you want, I can bring you guys over and maybe all three of you can talk. Oh, really? You do that? Wow. Yeah. You know, it would be great. Yeah, I can understand. I want my family back too. Lisa, are you here? Oh, what do you want, Daniel? <gasps> Mom? Dad? What are you doing here? Sweetheart, it's, it's, uh, it's good to see you. Lisa, my baby girl, how are you? Daniel, are you serious? Why would you bring them here? Listen, just calm down, okay? They just want to talk to you, that's all. Lisa, that's no way to greet your parents. Do you know how much we've missed you? We've been worried sick about you. What? Worried sick about me? Yeah, right. You guys just left me at home alone. We promise it just won't happen again. We want you back in our life. We've missed you so much. We we just want you back home, okay? Will you please come back home? I, I don't really know. Come on, Lisa. Can't you see your parents miss you? Is that true? Do you guys really miss me? Of course we do. You're our daughter. We miss you so much. Come on, let's be a family again. Okay. Fine. All right, we'll pack your things and come on home. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Daniel, what are you doing here? Well, I figured I'd just surprise you. That's all. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Uh, but hey, have you seen Lisa? Her parents came by and took her home. They did what? What? No. Da Daniel? What's the matter? I went and talked to her parents and she just ran away from home. They were really sad. Lisa ran away from home, Daniel. She didn't want to be there anymore. Her parents are awful to her. The reason why we took her in, Daniel, was because we found her crying at the park all alone. We needed to help her. She needed a place to stay and that's why we brought her here. I had no idea. She never talked about her family to me before. Hmm, and you wonder why, huh? Oh man, I did make a mistake, didn't I? Yes, yes you did. All right, Lisa, since you pulled that little stunt of running away from home, just so you know, now you can't go anywhere or do anything. You got that? What? Are you serious? No, that's not fair. 
This is our house, and what we say is fair. Is fair. And I can't believe you. Run into your ex-boyfriend's family. I didn't run to them. They saw me upset and took me in like nice, caring people, unlike you two. Oh, really? So now we're not nice, huh? Unbelievable. Wow. Wow. Just wow, Lisa. I gave you life, and this is how you treat us? Unbelievable. I don't even know why I thought you guys would change. I don't know why I'm back here in the first place. And this is the whole reason why I ran away. You ran away because you wanted to hurt us. You are just unbelievable, young lady. And a huge disappointment. You call yourself a daughter. Listen, you are our daughter. This is our house. You listen to what we say, and you're going to stay here no matter what. You got it? Whatever. You? What are you doing here? Hi, um, I just wanted to come by and talk to Lisa. Well, too bad. I gotta go to work. I don't have time for this. Listen, I gave this teddy bear to her as a gift, and she left it behind. I, I just want to give it to her, that's all. Well, I'll take it. I like teddy bears. I'd much rather give this to Lisa myself. Well, all right, fine. If you don't want to give it to me, I'll take it and then go drop it off to Lisa when I'm done with work. Can I just go inside and talk to Lisa? I don't want you to talk to Lisa. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I talk to Lisa. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. I'm taking this. Hey, give me that back. No, I'm not going to give this back to you. You need to leave. But that doesn't belong to you. Well, I have it now, don't I? Now get lost. Mom? Dad? Hello? Is anyone home? Big surprise. No one's home. Huh. At least they left a note. They took another trip to another city? And they don't want to call me? Seriously? I don't like being alone. I've always felt alone and it's all because of them. Whatever, I'll just grab a snack. <laughs> Great, now there's no food in the fridge? How, how am I supposed to do this? I, I just can't anymore, I can't do it. Lisa, are you, are you okay? Why are you crying? Daniel, what do you want? I came to get you, pack your things. Seriously? Yeah, you shouldn't be here. Just come back to my parents' house, okay? Okay, I'll go grab my things. I'm sorry about everything before, Lisa. I understand now what was going on. Look, I, I didn't want to be adopted by your family, but they were so nice, and I really appreciate everything they've done for me. I know, and I can't believe I thought you did all this just to hurt me. I would never do that, Daniel. And breaking up with you was a very, very hard decision I had to make. It wasn't easy for me either, but maybe after all of this we can be friends or something. Yeah, I really like that idea. I think we're better off as friends. Yeah, and I mean, I kind of hope our plan works. <laughs> me too. Lisa, where are you? There you are. I cannot believe you, young lady. You made us miss our flight. It's all your fault. You little brat, how could you do this? We were so excited for our vacation. This isn't Lisa's fault at all. She did nothing to you two. Oh, what are you, her hero now? You're gonna defend her? You know what, <laughs> Daniel? Don't worry, I got this. You two are the worst parents in the entire world. And I don't care that you missed your flight because you've never cared about me. What? Whoa, look who's finally talking back, huh? I, I can't believe it. The nerve! Well, you know what? It took me a long time to realize that I don't want to see you guys ever again. Now get out of my life! Fine. You want nothing to do with us? We want nothing to do with you. We never did! Yeah, and don't come crying back to us ever again. Uh, excuse me. You two Sharon and Joe? Yeah, that's us. Well, this is perfect. You two are under arrest. 